Okay, welcome back to week four of our Grace series. And I want to share with you, um, I love the title of this uh, sermon and sessions called The Ridiculous Math of Grace. And, and it, it literally is like that. We've, we've got several scriptures that we've studied during the sermon and this week where Jesus uh, would talk and share with his disciples that the math they were using and the math he was using was completely different. And the, and the difference really is grace. When I was a little kid, I have raised in a family of four boys. You know, my brother would get something or something would happen to him. And we as little kids would say, well, that's unfair. Well, if you really want to boil it down, if you look at grace, grace has nothing to do with fairness. It does not. It's simply given by God, not from a deserved place. And so we get more than we deserve. Isn't that a fantastic uh, story and picture? So the math of grace is ridiculous. It doesn't work. Peter would say, hey, um, Jesus, I got it. I, I know what it's like to be for forgiving, so I'm going to really go out on a limb here. And should I forgive my brother up to seven times? Would that be really, would that be really grace-filled? And Jesus just looked at him and said, no, Peter. It's 70 times seven, which is a hyperbole. 490 times, meaning endless. It, you, you, there's not a, there's no, here's the lesson. There's no limit on grace. You don't, you don't get to a place where, oh, oh, you've reached the end of your grace equation. Bank is empty. Can't withdraw anymore. It, it doesn't happen. Isn't that fantastic good news? So grace works differently than the math we've grown up with about faith or how things work that I, I, I earn, I work, I get all this, and therefore the rewards come. And that's a fine reality of sowing and reaping. But grace tends to transcend that in that we sinned, we did what was wrong, we've not been faithful or, or maybe just been lazy or whatever we've done. And then that sin goes on Christ. The, Christ pays the penalty for that and He gives us His favor in return. It's what makes the good grace, the good news that it is. So as we think about grace um, running out, um, you know, uh, there's another parable where, where Jesus talks about some workers and uh, laborers in a vineyard, some who came at, at dawn when they first came into the field, and others that came through the day, and others that came at the end. And at the end of the day, Jesus paid them all the same. And the workers at the end were, of course, excited. They worked a couple hours and got paid. The guys at the front were saying, hey, what's the math here? Uh, uh, you know, master, we work, and then here's this powerful statement. The, the master says, hey, wait a minute, we agreed that if you did this, this is what you would be paid, and, and, and so have I done anything? Have I missed something? Have I, have I somewhat, uh, how have I not been faithful to what I promised? And, and the lesson is this, not so much about wages. It's the message that the grace of God is not like the way we measure what, we, what we're due. Grace, we get what we're not due. We get above and beyond. If I got what I was due, I would get hell and, and separation from God, but I don't. So as we study grace this, this time, there's really two things that I want to talk about the math. Uh, first, let's not focus on measuring how many times do I run out in my relationship with God. Have I got to a place He will not forgive me again? No. Can I run out the grace? Can I bankrupt the grace of God? The answer to that, hallelujah, is no. But the second way we need to measure grace or, or not measure grace is with others. It, if they come back and they ask for forgiveness again of us, the answer is we need to be like the father with his prodigal son and in Luke 15 and forgive again. Now we may need the grace and the power of God to do that, but both with God, deserving grace, we don't, we get abundance. We need to change the math with others like well if you do me wrong one time i've heard people say in my career in, in ministry i'm done i write you off that is absolutely not the heart of god nor the heart that we should have so my prayer for us let's 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 rethink and reevaluate how we're what math we're using and grace has a completely different math that we don't deserve it and we get abundance we we, we, we expect to be rejected and Christ receives us. 
So as you go into this study on grace, I pray that it, 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 it turns those ideas upside down and we realize the incredible gift we have in the grace of God.